Fundamentally, Zen practice is a very simple activity. Just sitting up straight and breathing, paying attention to where you are and what you're doing. Physically, we may have developed habits that aren't helpful, that don't support a meditation practice. When you take any child and you sit them on the ground, they're able to sit with their bum on the ground, their knees hit the ground, and their backs are nice and straight. All of us are like that when we're born. But as we grow up, from about the age of five, we start to sit in chairs, and the hip, which is fundamentally a ball and socket joint, starts behaving like a hinge and only moving along one line, and it stops opening up. We've feel this later when we go to sit down on the floor and our legs won't open. Sitting without the knees supported or rooted on the ground is really difficult. You have to hold up the weight of your legs with the strength of your buttocks and your lower back. Your upper back comes into play to counterbalance it and the whole experience ends up being uncomfortable and even painful. So there's lots of things that you can do to develop the flexibility of your hip. It's there to begin with. Yoga is a great way of exercising and uh, developing that flexibility. But to start with, you don't need to have that flexibility. We'll get into some of the postures and how to sit on the floor, but first I'm going to talk about how to sit in a chair so that you can get started right away. <laughs> 